Hey guys, in this back, guys, in this back, me, me, today, I'll be reading Grumpy Monkey Party Time! Be fine. I'll be reading this because a lot of my friends requested this, so let's go! One perfectly pleasant afternoon, Jim Pansy found an invitation on his fridge. This must be the invitation on this print here. You are invited to Porcupine's party. This is what it says. Party, said Jim. Hmm. It'll be a great time, said Norman. From next door, we can dance. Dance? Jim exclaimed, cutting Norman off. I can't dance. Can't dance? Everyone can dance. Said Hyena, come on, show us your moves. I don't have any moves, said Jim. Sure you do, said Hyena. You just need to try. So Jim tried to dance. You should have taken him at his word, Morgan said to Hyena. If Jim doesn't know how Jim does said Ox. We all just have the teacher. Everyone was excited to teach Jim how to dance. You've got to feel that beat, said the lizards. You've got to strut your stuff, said Ostrich. You've got to shake your butt, said the baboons. He's doing it. He's dancing, everyone cheered. Party time, said Norman, and they headed to Porcupine's party to, to dance with Jim. Dance with us, said the ground squirrels. Care to shake the tail of heaven? asked Peacock. May we cut in? asked the Me next, said Rhino. Jim danced and danced. Everyone on the dance floor was having a great time. Everyone except Jim. And then it got worse. Isn't this the best chirped ox pepper? No, Jim said. This is not the best. It's the worst. I do not like dancing. The other animals stared in amazement. Who ever heard of someone who didn't like dancing? Asked Ox. Take one. Joey said, Warm Buffalo. I don't like to eat. But I never said anything because I thought I was the only one. I know others enjoy themselves, but I always feel silly on the things. I'd for. rather do something else, squawked Melody. To be honest, chimed in Bats, dancing, dance floors are always too loud for my taste. I'm going home, Jim said, and he turned to go. And bump, bump, smack into Norman! Everyone at the spire wants to dance, said Jim. But we don't like dancing. It's not for everyone. Norman agreed. But now I have too much food, said Porcupine sadly. Oh, Porcupine, we didn't mean to upset you. Jim paused. Wait, there's food at the party? And indeed, there was lots of wonderful food. Pineapple pudding, mango salad, fresh meat, fly pot pie, bark jerky, pickled roots, flower cake, put on free, grass, old meat, surprise eggs, bananas, honey, sea dumplings, more bananas, and plenty of games too. Swing along, puddles splash up. Bobbing for mangoes, 
shake that tree. Tap. So they stayed at the party. Jim enjoyed the wonderful food. He liked his friends. Even played a game or two. But he did not dance. It was a great time. Guys, if you this book, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!